everybody, it's Liz, and I'm just here to share some projects with you. Um, today is my mom's birthday, and I just finished this for her. Um, I wanted to make her a little frame and a nice little birthday card to go along with the um, the dolls that I ordered. Uh, my mom is, she just loves um, collecting the I Love Lucy dolls, you know, the Barbie dolls, and so we ordered a couple of those for her. Can't wait for those to, you know, get here. I know she's going to love them. But in the meantime, I thought I'd make, you know, make her a little something. So anyways, guys, as you can see, I made her a little frame. Um, this is a little picture frame. This is from Michael's, you know, the dollar wood frames that, uh, you know, everyone has, I'm sure. And I decided to make her a little card as well to go with her frame. I like to coordinate. So let me show you real quick the card first, and then I'll go into detail on how I created the frame. Now the paper collection that I used is um, by Bow Bunny and it's called Country Garden and this particular um, collection was given to me by Barb. Thank you so much Barb. I finally got a chance to use it and I loved it. I think it turned out really, really pretty. And I chose this collection because number one, my mom really loves to garden and I just thought I really liked the colors, you know what I mean? It was like a different uh, sort of color palette for me than I'm used to doing, you know, a lot of pinks and shabby chic and stuff like that, but I thought this was, was uh, pretty sweet, you know, with the blues and the yellows and the greens, so I really liked it and I think it came out really nice. I started off with, you know, just a regular card stock, in this case it was white, and um, my card is four and one eighth across by six inches um, in height, and all I did is, you know, score down the middle. And I went ahead and cut a, a sheet of the pattern paper from the Bow Bunny collection, and I adhered it to my cardstock. And on top of that, I did two die cuts, and these are by Spellbinders. I believe it's called, um, oh gosh, oh my god, I just had the name, um, something rectangles. Uh, but they're so pretty. I love all the intricate details on them. They're so pretty. And of course, all my edges are inked with, you know, a little bit of walnut stain. Um, I wanted to use... Uh, something besides Vintage Photo. You know, I use Vintage Photo quite a lot, and I thought that the uh, walnut stain worked a lot better. So I inked the edges up, and of course there's some foam tape behind each of the layers. I wanted to give this card a lot of dimension. And I just love these papers. They're so detailed and really pretty. Really nice touches of pink in there as well. And then for my frame, this is just, you know, the little Kaiser Craft wood uh, frames. And this one I've had in my stash for quite a while. I didn't do anything to it because I really like the natural wood color. But I did add a couple of pearls to some of the little um, areas here on the frame just to accent the frame a little bit. And this banner was fussy cut from one of the papers. And I fussy cut that out. Um, I have some foam tape behind it. And I inked all of the edges with walnut stain. And then I stamped happy birthday on there because it is my mom's birthday. And uh, perfect sentiment for a card. Then I've got some fussy cut butterflies, and these were also cut from one of the papers. And again, the collection is called Country Garden, and it's by Bow Bunny. It's an older collection. Very, very pretty. Um, I believe Hobby Lobby is still carrying it. So if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and check out your Hobby Lobby. And, uh, okay, so anyways, I, what I wanted to do is just create a little cluster here in the corner. And so I've got some flowers for my stash. This big blue one was given to me by Saw Crafters. Thank you so much, Saw. She gave me a big pack of blue flowers, and these were the perfect color to go with my card. So they're just perfect. This particular one, it's a little big, so I took out that bottom layer, you know, because I didn't want it to be overwhelming. But I've got the blue flower here, and then I've got some... These were white, and they're for my stash, but I colored them up using the uh, Heidi Swap in Blush. And they're just so pretty. It's just the right shade of pink. It goes really well with the uh, the pink in the background, if you guys are able to see that. And then I've just got a white eye roses flower here. Uh, I've got some Spellbinders leaves that I die cut using one of the pattern papers. I really like this, you know, bright green. And I just kind of inked all of the leaves' edges with some walnut stain. And I sort of bent the leaves in, in the middle. Just, well, creased them, I should say, to kind of give them a little bit more dimension so they wouldn't be so flat. And then I've got some tulle. Um, kind of poking in and out from the flower cluster, if you guys are able to see that. And this is just regular tool, you guys, uh, from, you know, Hobby Lobby and Joann's, wherever you want to get your tools. Just, you know, big roll of tool. Uh, it's very nice and, um, um, I guess thin or whatever. It's not bulky at all. And I just take, you know, small pieces and I sort of kind of tuck them into the cluster with, you know, a little bit of, uh, hot glue, a little dab of glue will do it. So I've got a little bit of tool all around the cluster, and there's some more over here, some more leaves. And then I also have these little, um, 
oh gosh, I don't know, what do you call these? Little pips, I think, or whatever. Just like little berries from, you know, um, these were back from Easter. From one of the little picks from Michael's. And I just kind of tore it apart and added little berries here and there to the cluster as well. See, there's some more down here at the bottom. Really pretty. And of course, I'm, I know you can see my shimmer. I've got some diamond dust on all my flowers. I really like the way the diamond dust looks on the flowers. It adds that extra, you know, um, something special to the flowers. And I think my mom's going to love that. So, really, really pretty cluster. And uh, let me see. I think I've covered everything from my card, right? Okay. Let me show you the inside. Really simple. I basically just have two sheets of paper. I've got one um, blue one first, and then I cut this one here. And I picked this one just because it's got a little more um, white space, so I can write my message to my mom. And it's got a little cute little butterfly in the corner. So just perfect to write a little sweet message to, for my mommy. And so that's my card, you guys. I think it came out really pretty. I like how this flower just adds a Well, you know, all the flowers, really, they add a lot of... Um, Dimension. I mean, just look at it, right? <laughs> Very dimensional card. I love it. And I love the Spellbinders rectangles in the background. They add the perfect touch. Really nice. Okay, so that's my card. And then um, I wanted to alter her a little frame. You know, this is not her main gift, of course. And like I said, I ordered some. I love Lucy Barbie dolls for her, for her collection. But I just wanted to give her something today since, unfortunately, the dolls won't get here for a couple more days. But really, really cute frame. I love the way it came out. Again, this is just a dollar frame from Michaels. You know, they're a buck and they're just wood. Um, basically, all I did is I painted the edges because I knew I wasn't going to cover them with paper. And here you can see the edges. And that's all I started off with, just painting all the edges in a warm white. I also painted the inside here because that's not going to get covered with paper as well. So the inside is, you know, painted in warm white. And then that's it. Everything else I covered with paper. Again, I used Bow Bunny's Country Garden Collection. Really, really pretty collection. Lots of beautiful colors in there. Lots of uh, garden, um, I guess, images. So I started off by... Um, basically adhering one piece of pattern paper to the entire frame. I cut out my middle, of course. I inked all of my edges with the walnut stain. And you can see some of that there. really like that. Um, just wanted to use something different from Vintage Photo. That's like my go-to. But, you know, I've got to try to use my different inks as well. And then what I did is I took a different sheet here. And this one, I sort of cut it down to size, just slightly smaller than um, the frame itself. And then I tore... Um, some of the edges. Here you can see where I did some tearing, and then I did some tearing over there. Just kind of, I wanted a little bit of more of a distressed look, so I did some tearing on that. I distressed the edges with my distress tool, and then I went ahead and inked it with the walnut stain. And before adhering it to my uh, frame, I did cut out a couple of strips of blue pattern paper from the same collection, and I used my Martha Stewart punch to sort of, uh, you know, punch a couple details in there. And then I tucked in those little strips behind um, the distressed paper, just so they could be kind of, you know, peeking out from the, uh, the torn edges. And it's just out the cute little detail and a touch of blue that I wanted for uh, my frame. See, here's some down there. And then you can see some over here behind the cluster. Very pretty. And uh, let me see. Basically what I did is I just wanted lots of flowers, of course. It is a garden, you know, sort of theme. So again, I created two flower clusters, one on each uh, corner to sort of frame the picture, whatever my mom's going to put in here. For now, I just have like a piece of pattern paper in here. Um, you know, she can take that out and um, place whatever picture she wants in there. And I thought that would be really sweet. Let me show you the back really quick, I guess, before um, I finish. I did cover the back. As you can see, and this is one of the sheets from the Country Garden Collection. And I just inked all the edges with walnut stain. And then I've got the little, I painted the little um, stand uh, for my uh, picture frame. Okay, and let me see. All right, so now the flower clusters are the same as the ones on my card. As you can see, I use those big blue ones from Saw Crafters. They've got a lot of diamond dust on them. And then the two pink ones I colored myself using the Heidi Soft Blush color. I've got a white one for my stash. I've got some Spellbinders leaves, as you can see, you know, in the cluster itself. And I've got little pieces of tulle that I tucked into my flower cluster. I really like the way the tulle looks, and I hope you guys are able to see that. But it just sort of adds like a softness, you know, to the flowers. And I just really like how it kind of peeks in and out of the uh, cluster. And then I've got Spellbinders leaves. 
I've got more of those little pips or the little Easter berries tucked into my cluster. I've got a little um, fussy cut butterfly from the collection. I've got another one over here. And then in the background, you can see this really pretty dress form. This dress form is a wooden dress form from Sawcrafter Shop, and I did want to leave the natural color of the wood, so I didn't do anything to that. But I did add a sort of little dress, if you will, and this is from one of the, um, the uh, papers, the pattern papers. And I inked the edges again with walnut stain, added a little pearl um, necklace to the top of the dress form, and that looks really pretty, just kind of in the corner. And over here, I've got, uh, I titled it Memories, because you know, that the pictures that you know you put on there, that's what they are, they are memories. And so I've got this here, this is like a little wood piece. I picked this up at Michael's, you guys, I think these are new, because I have not seen them before, but let me show you what it looks like. They're in the $2 section. Um, and look at this, it was a pack of this, and it's got a bunch of words. And I kind of like it because it's like a, it's got like a shabby chic, feel to it. It's like distressed, but it's painted white, and they're really pretty, so you get a lot of words on there. And I just picked the one that said memories to add to my frame. And then again, here, this flower cluster is basically the same thing, you know, with the spellbinders leaves, die cut from the pattern paper, and inked with walnut stain. I've got beautiful blue flower from Sawcrafter's shop, some pink ones for my stash, little white I am roses, the little pips, and then I've got some tulle. And the tool is hard to see, of course, because, you know, it's white, but you can see some of the tool, how it's sort of coming in and out from the cluster. And then I've got a little fussy cut butterfly up here. Really, really pretty. And that's it. The frame came together very, very fast. Um, once I knew what collection I wanted to use for, you know, my mom's gifts. came together really fast. I love the way it turned out. I love how the distressed paper, um, you know, looks on top of, you know, the um, the other paper underneath it gives it like a, I don't know, like a really, sort of like a vintage look, and I really like that. You guys know how much I love vintage stuff. And then you can see a little bit of pink, and I just really like the blues, how they really make everything just pop. So, I think it turned out really pretty, and I think she's going to love it, because she has so many picture frames, you guys. She can never have enough. She's always buying new ones, but I thought that a handmade one you know, made with love, would be really special. So I'm going to include this with her gift. And that's it, you guys. So just a really quick project share. Just wanted to share that with you before I give it to my mommy. And again, this is the card that I created for her. I love the card. I think it came out really nice. Very, very happy with it. And that is it. So I hope you guys like my projects. I thank you so much for watching. And you guys, thank you so much to all my new subbies. I've been getting quite a bit of new subbies lately, and I so appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are not disappointed. But, um, you know, I'll make more time. Like I said, you guys know how busy I've been. But I try to make time here and there. But hopefully you guys like my projects and are inspired to create your own. I mean, this is such a great... You know, I think it's a great project, right? You get, you start off with a dollar frame and you turn it into something beautiful that, you know, it makes a great gift. So, I love it. So happy with it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'm babbling on and on. But anyways, I'll see you all real soon, all right? Take care. Bye-bye.